virtually since it was announced, people have known that the Acolyte was going to be a gigantic disaster for Disney and for Lucasfilm. And that's really more the same for Disney Star Wars. We have disaster after disaster, flop after flop, failure after failure, especially when it comes to these Disney Plus streaming shows. But the Acolyte has broken records. We've never seen hate like this for any of these products. We know that just the trailer they released a week ago for May the 4th, right? Disaster. 150,000 down votes to less than 70,000 likes. That's nothing compared to the first trailer we got for this. 700,000 dislikes on that thing. And of course, what else do you expect from Star Wars fans? Because what have they been told about this time after time? That it's all about identity politics. That it's not about respecting Star Wars. It's not about celebrating Star Wars. Instead, it's all about diversity and inclusion and representation. And we've been told that from the cast, from the crew, from the showrunner, Leslie Headland herself, Harvey Weinstein's former personal assistant. And now once again, we're getting news about the Acolyte. It's really just a slap in the face to actual Star Wars, but it shouldn't be surprising. Next Star Wars showrunner confirms Disney is moving away from one George Lucas idea. Oh, what? One? Just one idea that you're moving away from? Uh, interesting, isn't it? And it's this one right here. Something I've talked about multiple times, how Disney is completely fucked up when it comes to the way that they actually view the Force. Star Wars The Acolyte will move further away from George Lucas's original ideas. The Acolyte offers a fresh take on the Force, emphasizing balance between light and dark, diverging from traditional Star Wars lore. Now let's look at this interview, right? Headland expressed her intention for the Acolyte to redefine the concept of balance in the Force, indicating the departure from the traditional interpretations. And by interpretations, mean we mean what George Lucas fucking said. Quote, Honestly, the way I look at it is, there is no light without darkness, no good without bad. So to me, and this might just be a personal thing, I'm going to stop you right there. It can't be a fucking personal thing. You're, you're not coming and doing your personal thing. You're part of a fucking franchise that started nearly 50 fucking years ago, you dumb bitch. Anyway, might just be a personal thing. The Force is about balance. It's not just a Marvel superpower. The Force-sensitive aren't using telekinesis because they're special, powerful people. Uh, I, it's funny how you say Force-sensitive when we just watch Ahsoka where anybody can have the Force. There's no such thing as Force-sensitive, blah, blah, blah. Another departure from George Lucas's fucking word, by the way. Uh, it's because they've achieved balance. As Yoda says, my ally is the Force. So the idea of a separation from that was interesting. If you're unbalanced, the Force cannot protect you. Well, is that really what it is? Or, or did George Lucas... Make the force sound like something else entirely. Did balance mean something else entirely different for George Lucas? And the truth is, yes, it absolutely fucking did. I've played this clip before. Not enough people have seen it. But what George Lucas is about to explain is that it's not about having the same amount of light as there is dark being balanced. In fact, it's more of a kind of fucking Eastern type of way to think about it in terms of like Buddhism or whatever, where you're talking about balance is essentially like being whole within. And anytime you introduce anything, anything that's chaotic, anything that throws off that internal balance, you come out of balance, right? So being in the light completely is in balance. Anything that's dark throws you out. And that's what George Lucas defined the fucking force as, by the way. Let's listen to him. Changes the core of the force. I mean, you got the dark side, the light side. One is selfless, one is selfish. And you want to keep them in balance. What happens when you go to the dark side is it goes out of balance and then you get really selfish and you forget about everybody and you ultimately lead yourself because when you get selfish, you get stuff or you want stuff. Mm -hmm. And when you want stuff and you get stuff, then you get are afraid somebody's going to take it away from you, whether it's a person or a thing or mm -hmm. a, a particular pleasure experience. Mm -hmm. Once you become afraid that somebody's going to take it away from you, now, what he's saying is once you go to the dark side, you get out of balance, right? We're not talking about equal. He's not saying, well, you need to be just as selfless as you are selfish in order to be in balance. It's obviously not what he's talking about. It's not what we've seen from anything in fucking Star Wars, right? He's talking about when you have the absence of darkness, that's when you're talking about balance. As soon as the dark side creeps in, as soon as you start walking down that path at all, you're throwing off that balance, 
right? Balance in the Force was not achieved when there was just, I don't know, two Sith and two Jedi, as dumbass Freddie Prince Jr. tried to explain. No, the Force is not in balance until Darth Vader, you know, essentially was redeemed and brought back to the light and threw Emperor Palpatine down that fucking shaft. That's when the Chosen One fulfilled the prophecy and brought balance to the Force, the absence of darkness. And it seems like nobody who actually fucking works at Lucasfilm understands that shit or wants to understand that anymore so on top of all the woke ridiculous bullshit that we see time and time again coming from disney star wars especially coming from this specific project from the cast the crew the showrunner everybody now if you just needed any more reason to know that this thing's going to be a gigantic pile of shit just read the fucking headlines right the showrunner admits that they're moving even further away from the idea of george lucas's star wars